In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best bomb concepts in Madden 22. It's going to beat every coverage over the top. I think every offense, if you're going to have a really effective offense this year, you need to have a concept in your offense that is a coverage bomb, whether it be a cover three bomb, cover two bomb, cover four bomb, man to man bomb. Ideally, you can weave all these together and you'll have one or two plays that can bomb every coverage. And that is what the gun bunch affords us this year. It's one of the reasons, one of the many reasons as to why it's widely considered that the bunch is the best offense in Madden 22. And I want to walk you through how we're going to use this play PA dig fork to be able to bomb every zone coverage and every man coverage, including match coverage uh, in this game. Now, what we want to do here is we want to put our best route runner, whoever that is. If we have an ability player, somebody who can get over the top. We want to put him at this outside receiver spot. And all we're going to do with this with this concept is we're just going to streak our slot receiver we're going to block our tight end and then what i like to do is i actually like to go ahead and slant this outside receiver on the left now from there you can kind of do whatever you want to do if you want to wheel your running back you can you don't have to wheel your running back you can actually leave him on this little play action route if you don't want to tip off the 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 um the defense that you are in this play my recommendation would be to take your running back and put him on an out maybe they will think you're in flood um from this from this concept so this is the main way that i like to run this just a simple out route to the running backs if they're playing hard flats i can throw the ball to the slant on the backside. if they're not playing hard flats i now have my running back as a threat over there if they're playing man to man i have a slant route and an end route um, that's why I like to use this. We're going to first show this against cover four drop. Most people would argue that cover four drop is probably the safest defense in this game. And if you want to learn more about the bunch, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. And it gets you access to my full gun bunch offensive ebook. And in addition to that, you'll also get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks over at that Patreon page. Now, all we're going to do is snap this ball and against cover four, as long as we have time, once he passes that left safety, you see right there, we're going to be able to throw the ball over the top of that safety. And as you can see, this will absolutely bomb the cover four coverage. Now, this play is actually best ran with your bunch to the wide side of the field, at least in my opinion. You can run it short side. You can run it wide side. I'll show you um, I'll show you this to the other or to this hash mark against cover four. What you'll see is he'll just get he's just going to get over there a little bit better. Um, as you can see, he gets over there a little bit better, a little bit cleaner of a bomb. And as you can see, it just absolutely torches the cover four. Now I wanted to go to one of the most popular uh, defenses in Madden 22, and that is the cover three double Mabel setup. It looks just like this. And really, this is, I think, personally, the best way that they can combat it. But what you should see here is this slant is going to mess with this deep half. See how he pulls him inside. And then this is actually going to come over here. Now, if you are struggling with cover two, and you need, um, if you are struggling with cover two and you need an effective way to beat it, this is why the wheel route to the running back is really effective because what you'll see with this deep half, this deep half is really the only zone that can play it. And what you'll see with this wheel is this wheel will pull the deep half to the outside and you'll see there that he won't be quite as able to guard it. The The deep half is really the, the biggest the biggest thing you got to be careful with with this. And again, if you run this to the short side, it's a little bit better against deep half. And the reason why, again, I want to double down on this, I've talked about this before on the channel, is because of the grid that the deep half has to cover. And if what we're really trying to do is really trying to basically get the deep half to dumb out before he comes into the field of play. So... Again, here's your double Mabel um, set up here with the deep half. I don't know why my play art is glitched, but anyways, what you'll see here, slant. We'll do the out route again. And then what you should see is now that the deep half is having to come all the way over here, it's a little bit more difficult for him to play it. You see how he kind of looks like a guard it. And then there he actually plays it you know, fairly okay. If you have deep out of lead, it could be a thing. Um, but really this is best against cover three and cover four. If you really want to bomb the deep half, there's so many ways to bomb deep halves this year. Literally all you need to do 
is run it, run the setup like this. This right here is a really good way to kind of combat that. And the reason why is because now the slant's not going to pull him inside. And what you'll see is the deep half will literally just completely dumb out. And you can hit this right over the top for an absolute laser. So you can do it that way as well. That's another way um, that you can run this bomb. If you wanted to take this guy and put him on a comeback, the problem with this is there's no one to threaten the middle of the field, right? So that's the one thing that I would say. Um, another thing you could do is you could do a motion slant. I'll show you this real quick against cover um, against cover two. Let me shift over to cover two here. But if you did this slant, this isn't a terrible idea. Do something like this with a little motion slant. This motion slant will come in. You got to come back there and pull the deep path out. And you see here, I mean, the deep path is probably the best adjustment. But I will also preface by saying if your deep halves are a lot easier to bomb this year than quarters. So um, this, this is, you know, really good against cover three, which I'm about to show you how cover three works. So if it's just a traditional cover three where they have an outside third, you really don't have a lot to worry about. Um, this outside third will just get sucked inside really badly, and you'll see he'll just kind of freeze. Um, and there he actually got back a little bit better. I think it's because we're on the wrong hash. But uh, but anyways, this this uh, post is really effective for uh, for this deep third. Let me show it to you over here on this other side of the field. The other thing that you can do with this post route that I would also kind of just, you know, if you really want to beat deep halves, I'll show you in one second another way that we can kind of get at it. But this is the third, and then I'll show you a, a little bit of a trick for the deep half here in a second. But here you see the third. Typically, he'll kind of freeze. I don't know how he's getting back on that. Um, if you ever have any problem with the deep third getting back, just wheel the running back. So if you're ever worried, oh, the deep, you know, the deep third is getting back there, then just go ahead and put the running back on a wheel, and that wheel will should hold the deep third. Let's see here. See how he's looking at the wheel, and then he just kind of is in no man's land, and as you can see, this goes over the top. So we're able to beat cover four, cover three. And then with cover two, um, all you need to do to be able to beat these other zones is – it's actually relatively simple. So if I'm, an, if I'm getting a cover, two, a cover two defense, what you'll see here, all I need to do – is just motion circle to the outside of the field. He is on a kind of a, a unique post, but this post will run very far. So I can just motion him out here like this. Now the deep half is not in the quite not quite in that grid as as well. And a lot of times this will get over the top. You might need to wheel the running back, of course. Um, you know, but a lot of times with this cover two, Mabel, that you're getting like something like this. A lot of times this uh, post will get over the top if I, you know, do something like a little motion snap and a wheel. This can be very good for the cover two. See how he's stuck now? And then now I've got this, you know, kind of running over the top. So you can kind of mess with that. There's so many ways to bomb this cover three coverage that I'm not going to spend a ton of time um, on this because, like, literally just call any play with a post from the left side guy. Like, but this is really more of a cover two bomb than a than a cover or not not a cover two bomb, but a um, a cover four drop bomb, which is the coverage you're gonna get, um, you know, a lot of times. So what we could easily do off of this is you could have something like, you know, let's say something like this where we have a slant, a wheel, and a post, okay, and then we motion this guy out so it kind of looks the same. We have this corner route, and then you see right here, this is what I'm talking about, where you can't really run cover two against the bunch. It's very difficult to anyways, or you're going to get skinny posts to death. So anyways, this is one of my favorite plays. It's a real sneaky. There's multiple ways to run it. Um, you can literally just run it like this. And what I love about this concept, though, is that it just absolutely crucifies cover four drop um, over the top, as you can see right there. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, there's a link in the description of the video, and you can check that out. You can get all my ebooks by joining my Patreon page for just 10 bucks. Gets you access to everything. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.